everybody's so creative. If you don't have time to stand up over the stove with all these different pots and pans to wash in the end, just do a one pot meal. Get yourself some tortilla shells and put them in an aluminum pan. You see that? That's a big, big block of ground beef raw. Put it right in the middle. Dump yourself a big five pound piece of cheese, a big brick, right inside of there as well. Some nacho cheese, some refried beans, some salsa, and some taco seasoning and dump it all in there. That's right, it's all gonna go in one pan. Y'all don't need to be dirtying up all them dishes and bothering your kids. They upstairs playing games. They love it. And then put more taco seasoning. That way it'll be seasoned all the way through. Add your corn. You have to add your corn and add some cheese. You know why you want to add more cheese? Because it ain't going to slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. And we must have it slide down easy. See how simple this is? Now you want to orangutan punch all those ingredients together. That's right. Do it right with your knuckles. Mix it up and push, push, push. Punch like you would if you were running through the orangutan zoo. There you go. Put that brick in the middle. See how that looks? Well, the reason we put the brick in the middle is for you though that don't like cheese. I know you don't like cheese, so what you do is you dip right out of the corner. Anyone that loves cheese, you dive in the middle. See that? Yeah, I got something for everybody all in one pan. Wipe your hand over top of the dish so you don't get all that crap on your floor. Now you want to pour in this liquid stuff. I don't know what that is. Now crunch up some tortilla shells. That's right, crunch up your taco shells and pour them right in that same dish. Because we're not doing anything separate. I don't know why they sell it separate, because I'll never cook separate again. Dump it all in there. Don't get that cardboard in there, though. You don't want a Cracker Jack surprise, not in this dish. Throw it all in there. See how different that looks? It's supposed to look lasagna-ish, crunchish, cheese-ish, stuff-ish. That's how it's supposed to look. Now you want to fold it up, put some more tortilla shells on top, Fold it up like a baby's pamper. That's right. You see how you roll it all up around their backside, all the way up to their neck? That's what you want it to look like. Look differently different. Now put it in the oven. And you want to crank it up to 400 degrees for 759 days. And when it comes out, I guarantee you, you're going to have a meal for all your children and your friends. I can't wait to see how it looks. See how that looks? So different. Almost just like when we put it in, just darker. See how crispy that might be if we could see it up close? Oh, that looks so simple and different. I can't wait to see what's inside the middle. Are you going to cut it for us? I don't know if we're going to see it on this video, but if you want, you can go to the page and find out what it looks like inside because I'm done here. I know it's differently different inside. Cook it for 532 days and... It'll crisp up for you just the way you like.